Welcome back to the workshop. Uh, as you can see, up on the bench here we have my Speedy. Uh, been around a while this engine. Uh, built 50 years ago, something like that, if not more. Um, been owned by my dad since he was in his teens. Uh, passed on to me when I was in my teens. It's had several rebuilds over the years, but now uh, she's not running particularly well. It's probably something I've done wrong in the past. Um, it just seems to be, as I remember, I've not used it for a couple of years because it's had problems, but it's time to get that sorted. Uh, as I remember, it just seemed to be using too much steam. Um, it had a massive draw on the fire, it was generating loads, but it was wasting more than it could generate. Uh, so, I'm going to have a look at what might be wrong. I'm not going to steam it, but what I am going to do is run it on air. I've charged the compressor next door and run the hose through. Uh, hopefully I've shut the blowdown valve. Should have been worth checking first. Look shut, but you never know. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, adapter in. Make sure everything else is shut. Let's see what happens. That does sound like the blowdown valve. So, and let's try that again. That's better. So, yeah, there's a lot coming out of the chimney there. Now the blast coming up the chimney is quite stop start. So it may not be the valves that I expected, it might just be the piston. So I did record a lot more, but it was incredibly boring to watch, it was very time consuming. But I'm going to start pulling it apart. I'll take the valves out first because they need to come out to take the pistons out and we'll see where we go from there. But let's see what went on there as we took it apart. So I'm going to start with the left hand side for no particular reason. And the valve should come out reasonably easily. Uh, like I say, with Speedy there's no running boards or anything in the way that cover comes off and the uh, front guide comes off easy and what's left is just undoing the locking nut at the valve guide which i will then leave my spanner on whilst I unscrew the valve rod. The threads at the end might be a little bit damaged, but the nut is off and that should just pull out now. <sighs> Although I may need to get something to get hold of it. That's not ideal because it'll grip and damage the shaft. Just give it, oh, there you go. Give it go from the end. So. Got a few rust spots, 
but there's bits of stuff which are not ideal. And there's, it looks like in actual fact, those two rings are fine. But these rings, or one in particular, are stuck. So that may just be our problem. Not enough clearance on the rings or the board or the grooves have gone bad. But I'll give that a good clean up and I will have a look at the rings and see if they appear to be working okay. It might just be that one valve head that's bad. So let's carry on. And moving my attention to the other side, let's uh, draw this out as well. Oh, it's a little bit rusty here as well. So, once again, I've got one ring that moves nicely. But the others are all a bit tight. So, what I'll do is I'll clean it all up and then, I mean, looking at them, it looks like generally they're wearing nicely in there. There's nice longitudinal wear marks where it's been rubbing up. There's a little area there that it's not, but that would wear in as long as the rings move. And the same on the other end. So once again, um, very blabbery mess, the, the next bit that got recorded. But what's going to happen is I'm going to start taking the pistons out and then we'll discuss again after we've seen what happened with the pistons. Enjoy. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's the... WD-40 I was spraying in, coming out. Might be a bit of water there as well. It does feel a little bit pity at the bottom. Um, let's see if I can get the light in there better for you. too bad but I'm sure we can get it better before it goes back together. I'll get the other side open and I'll pop the piston out. Not necessarily in that order um, and we'll carry on investigating. Put that back in there for now. I will film me doing it but if it takes too long or if it doesn't look particularly good on camera. I'll just let you know what I'm going to do. So, taper pin going through the cross head and the pin and the rod. What I'll do is there's a bit of flex in the rod there. Not a lot, but just enough that I can wedge behind between the wheel and the cross head and then hit the cross head which will effectively push the, piston, push the pin out the other way. It's not the best way, but it saves having to take it all apart to be able to punch it. So, I'll give that a go, and you may be about to see it. <coughs> so I've got a piece of hexagon. I'm just gonna put it behind there, and I'm going to have it on the end of the 
it's come out. I was planning on putting, trying to wedge it on the end of the pin and get something in behind, but that has knocked out. A bit easier than I expected. So, turn our attention. What we have, they actually look like when I was experimenting with um, PTFE rings. They've gone quite rough there. I'm going to have to take that apart to find out how I put it together in the first place. Uh, Nope, that screwdriver's not doing it. Uh, I didn't remember this being in bits. In fact, I've got a feeling it might have just been the end web which broke. There you go. So this is the problem with PTFE. It doesn't actually spring by itself. There are a couple of O-rings underneath. Maybe if I put a slightly bigger section O-ring, it would actually push the ring out. But maybe I'll try some new rings. Maybe I'll make some new heads. Let's uh, see what material we've got and potentially see what we can do. So one last thing before I go. This is the hone I'm going to use to clean up the bore. The head spring out. You can adjust the tension on the spring on how much spring there is by winding that in. Uh, then there's a lot of strength on those springs, on those uh, stones. Uh, and yes, we'll just gently, there's, there's enough oily stuff in there to lubricate it. Uh, we'll just give it a little go with that, just to clean up some of the scoring. So I'll quickly show it to you, but then I'll do most of it off camera. So here you go. Well, there you go, we'll just do this for a little while until we're happy that the balls are good. In fact, let's just take a look just with that little amount we've done there. I mean, it's not perfect, but that has got rid of an awful lot of the the bad spots that I could feel before. So I might just give it a little bit more of that. It looks like at some point there has been a little bit of rust on the bottom, a little bit of water left in there. But so we'll give it a bit more and then <coughs> move on to making new uh, rings for it. There we go. Can you see how much better that's looking already?
give you one more go. Bit more WD. Another little wipe. Oh, get right in there. There we go. That feels so much better already. I mean, yes, there's a couple of spots on the bottom that are a little bit rough, but hopefully that'll just give somewhere for the oil to sit. So I'm a lot happier with that. We will see what we can do about and she rolls nicer as well. So I think if we get the other one out, it would be even better. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching that. That's just the diagnosis of the issues. Um, it does look like the valves are pretty good, uh, except that one of the valve heads has got a bit of one of the, the webs on the inside face, so that's from live steam. Um, broken off. I'm not sure if that's going to cause me a problem, so maybe I'll remake that bobbin. Maybe I'll remake both bobbins and just while I'm there, just do the whole lot. Uh, the valves, the rings did look okay, except for one or two of them. Um, but the pistons didn't look quite so good. Um, do I make new pistons? Do I make new sort of piston heads? Do I just put new rings in the old pistons? I can't quite decide at the moment. So if you want to let me know what you would do, um, I may not get around to it for a couple of days, so there might be a couple of days of possibility for changing what I do, but let me know what you would do. Um, do I stick with PTFE, but give them a bit more, because that, that's like the sintered PTFE, they're actually a hydraulic seal that I was using, and I think they didn't have enough energization on the seal. Uh, so, do I stick with them, give them another try, or do I go with something different, uh, maybe go back to metal rings like I've got on the valves? Uh, what would you do? Please let me know. Um, I am temp I just can't decide what to do at the moment. I could put an O-ring in there and then put a metal ring over the top of the O-ring, so that the O-ring gives the, the metal ring a bit of energization. So I can't decide. But any advice, gratefully received, and I will do my best to have a go at making them however it works. Um, so for now, thanks for watching, and be good. I'm going to have a cup of tea, get on into some gardening, but I will be back soon. Take care.